Okay, this is a Tesla coil. Uh, the first was designed by Nikola Tesla. Um, it's a resonant air core transformer. Um, basically, the box here is acting a bit like a radio transmitter with a high frequency current going through the inductor here. Um, this resonates with the tuned circuit above, which is the capacitive top load, this toroid shape, and the um, coil inductor here. And uh, when they're tuned up, the voltage at the top can reach up to 500,000 volts. Um, tuning is a bit like tuning in a, an old-fashioned radio. It's a sliding contact around the inductor. You slide it around until you find your best tuning point. And at that point, you get your largest sparks. Um, I'll show you the inside now. Just unclip there. Okay, this is the uh, box of the Tesla coil. It holds all the inner workings. You can see it's quite a simple device. There's only th really three main components inside. There's the transformer here, which is a uh, 10,000 volt transformer from mains. So um, it's originally used for running neon signs. So it's a fairly chunky piece of equipment there. The next bit here that you see spinning is a rotary spark gap, which I'll show you running in a minute. And that generates basically a high frequency switch to uh, control the charging and discharging of the capacitor here. And this large yellow box full of what appear to be beer bottles, which are in fact, actually be in fact beer bottles, is a capacitor. These I had to make myself. They're um, foil covered glass bottles with uh, saltwater electro um, electrodes inside, which uh, all add up to give a, a high voltage low capacitance. Um, <coughs> okay, the spark gap here is a rotary gap. I built it recently just to replace the uh, static gap I used to use, which was very inefficient. It works basically with a perspex disc with uh, copper contacts mounted into it, spinning on top of an old PC fan, with the high voltage terminals connected across it so that when they're lined up like so, there'll be, a, be an arc across. As it rotates, contact breaks, the next contact makes, and so you get perpetual sparking and breaking. So it's a much more efficient system than the old one. I'll actually do a run because it's quite impressive just to look, look at by itself. I can just sneak past you. Okay, we'll just turn the fan on. It takes a few seconds to spin up to speed. Need to kick start occasionally. Okay, I'm just about to uh, actually change the electrodes on the spark gap. This is, you can see here, the blackened marks on the tips there and around the perspex disc. This is a, just a build-up of copper oxide. The simplest way to do it is because it's uh, designed to be cleaned up easily is actually just to replace the uh, copper in there. So I'll just unscrew these, pull that out. 
In goes the next one. Screwing the wrong way there. The other one. Okay, this is after a tuning run to try and tune in for a bigger spark. Okay, this is uh, just to demonstrate the <coughs> effects that a Tesla coil can have on anything that's got a, any capacitance of its own brought into the field. Just uh, watch the foil covered uh, ring. This is a run to try and get a maximum spark length. Putting a ruler in the centre to scale. Uh -huh. camera. 50 centimetre ruler.
the, the coil to the end of the tube and it's lighting up here, what's happening is that uh, because there's a huge voltage in the air here, this end is at uh, sort of 10,000 volts or something. This end, where my hand is, is at uh, effectively zero volts. My hand's acting like an earth. So the current, when the sparks hit it, is passing down through my arm, down through my feet, and onto the floor. So it makes you tingle a bit. I think it's one of these things we say, <coughs> don't do this. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Why doesn't it electrocute you? You're it is. So. So the voltage is so great, why doesn't it really hurt Because uh, it's current that does the damage, not voltage. It's, very small, very it's also very high frequency as well, so it uh, can't affect the nervous system. It's uh, at about a megahertz, whereas mains is at 50 hertz. So it's a okay. big difference. Thanks very much. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see you